How great is the God that we just sang to and worshiped? He is incredible. And one of the privileges that we have today is to dedicate a child to that God. Chris and Joyce, uh, if Grandma can give him up, do you want to bring Jedediah on up here? If you haven't seen him, this is about the smiliest child there is. He gets it from Janice, I think. So. This morning, Chris and Joyce will be dedicating their son, Jedediah, to the Lord, pledging themselves before God and their church family to raise him in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Psalm 127.3 tells us that children are a gift from the Lord. And I know his parents, grandparents, and everyone who spent two minutes with Jedediah uh, consider him just that, a gift. Chris and Joyce, God has sovereignly chosen you to be his parents, which is a beautiful privilege and joyful responsibility. Psalm 78, 1 through 7, uh, says this, Things that we have heard and known that our fathers have told us, we will not hide them from their children, but tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might in the wonders that he has done. He established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers to teach their children that the next generation might know them in children yet unborn and arise and tell them to their children so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God. This psalm tells us that God wants every generation to know and trust in him and to follow his commandments. So God exhorts parents to pass on the glorious deeds and wonders that he has done so that the children will put their hope in him. In Deuteronomy 6, we also have this command as parents to diligently teach the scriptures to our children. This is from verses 4 through 7. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. Chris and Joyce, I'm going to read a few questions. And after each one, you can affirm your commitment by simply replying, we do. And it needs to be in unison. <laughs> All right. By God's grace and with his help, do you commit to the following? To teach Jedediah the word of God, showing him his need for a savior, and to live out the Christian life before him. To parent, whoa, with a really strong P, to parent in a Christ-centered manner through grace and loving discipline, encouragement, and shepherding to partner with your church community to receive help and support? And lastly, as you parent Jedediah, do you commit to regularly pray for him? All right. Church, Chris and Joyce have just made several commitments knowing that they're gonna need the grace and help of God to raise Jedediah. They will also need the support and encouragement of their church family. So Chris and Joyce, you're not alone in this responsibility. I have a question now for all of us, and we can affirm with a we do at the end. I'm going to read a series of questions, and we'll commit to all of them afterwards. Church, will you commit to partnering with Chris and Joyce as the parents of Jedediah to pray for them and for him, to help bear the responsibility and challenges of parenting through loving support and encouragement? And lastly, to set an example for Jedediah by living your life before him in a God-honoring manner. We do. This time I'd like to call up uh, the family to join us on the stage and we'll pray a prayer of dedication over Jed.
All right, church, join us as we pray and dedicate Jedediah to the Lord. Father, we are so thankful uh, for the gift of children. Thank you for this specific child, Jedediah, that you have blessed Chris and Joyce with. Thank you for the family that he was born into. Thank you for the loving support and care that uh, is surrounding him. Father, we dedicate him to you. We um, pledge ourselves to live faithfully before you, an example to him of your goodness and your love. We pray a blessing over Chris and Joyce that you will give them wisdom uh, in your love and care and raising. Jedediah, we thank you for the extended family that he has to help support and love him and teach him in your ways. Father, may this boy uh, see you for who you are, embrace your goodness, receive your love, and live a life full of gratitude for all that you've done for him. And I pray that he will be a testimony to the world of who you are and how much you love us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys can be seated. Thank you. Are you ready? All right, we're excited to hear from Liam Hicken, who had an interesting experience not too long ago that he's going to share with us about, and I believe there are some slides with pictures on it, so Liam, take it away. All right. <laughs> Good morning. I recently went on a trip to Florida. Um, I was supposed to go to Honduras, um, but I got sick, so a couple other people got sick, uh, 40 people, <laughs> so uh, we stayed in uh, Florida to do some work there. So this is our team. Uh, it was a good team. This was a block wall that we uh, demolished because it was useless. This is the stack of bricks afterwards and the pile of rubble. This was a shipping container we filled full of clothes to send to Uganda. This was the start of a pole barn that we made um, for uh, class that they were teaching for overseas things. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really remember the details. Uh, these, ooh, sideways. Um, <laughs> he's not actually hanging like that. Uh, <laughs> these were a bunch of struts that we painted because they were getting a little rusty. Uh, this is also the pole barn. I think these are out of order, but oh well. Um, this was a little later. Uh, this is also the struts that we painted. We painted all the poles as well. Uh, that's the roof that we put on the pole barn. These are chalkboards that we made to send to Uganda because kids like to draw without having to use paper. So this is the end product of the small building that we made. And this is an office that we redid for uh, the wife of the guy who runs the whole thing. I think that's it. Uh, it was a great experience, and I learned a lot, and I'm close to Jesus now. You can't ask for any better than that. And, uh, you know, our plans aren't always the Lord's plans, and we can be thankful for his plans. And uh, it looks like you guys blessed a lot of people through those efforts. So thank you, Liam, and it's very good to have you back. And great job on the drums this morning. That was awesome. Very good. All right. One, uh, I only have one announcement today, really two. One is um, on Wednesday, we have our prayer meeting, so please be here. We're going to emphasize prayer for Afghanistan. And, you know, if we were, if the, our roles were reversed, we would want the church worldwide intensely focused in praying for us. So let's um, make that a priority on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock here. Um, that will be one of our main emphasis. And my other announcement is to check your emails for announcements. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of details. It's been in the emails. Uh, next week, we'll highlight a couple things, but please be referring to those for other announcements. And uh, John, if you want to make your way up and take the remote from Liam, uh, it's going to introduce some first-time visitors, which I know at least two of. Chris, um, unless you want to put Joyce on the spot, do you want to introduce your in-laws? All right. Chrisman's welcome. 
Machen, I know you have a very special first time visitor as well. All right, Valerie, welcome. They are planning a just post-Christmas wedding, so something to look forward to. Are there any other first-time visitors here? All right. Well, children, you guys may be dismissed. Marley, do you have the crew this morning? You do? All right. So age five.